Hi everyone, welcome to Impact Pilates, the YouTube channel. My name is Amanda. Today I have a new workout for you um, with a new prop. I don't have any videos on here using this. So today we're going to be using um, a large stability ball. Uh, and we're going to be doing a full ball rounded workout on it. Um, there is going to be some work standing, so we got a little balance in there some core, some spinal mobility in our thighs. So it's going to be a really well-rounded workout um, with just a little different challenge um, using that stability ball. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start seated on the ball. And just have your feet in just a nice wide position. And we're just finding a nice neutral position here through the pelvis. And it's allowing the rest of the spine to stack up nicely on top. So you should be feeling and holding no tension throughout the body here. We're just going to start taking a nice full breath in, feeling that three-dimensional breath into the rib cage, down to the belly, down towards the pelvis. And then as you exhale, we're going to go ahead and just nod that chin. And then just let that spine completely round forward. Letting the hands melt down towards the ankles, letting the shoulders come away from the spine. So the head is almost falling in between the legs. And we stay here, just take a nice breath, breathing into the back and sides of the rib cage. And then exhaling out through the mouth. Taking another full breath in. And then we're going to go ahead and stack that spine all the way up from bottom through to top. Doing that again, taking a full breath in. Exhale, nodding that chin to chest, rounding the spine all the way forward. Staying here, taking a full breath in. Staying here and exhaling out. Again, another full breath in. And then stacking all the way back up nice and tall. I gave my son a strawberry yesterday for the first time and I'm still finding splattered strawberry on my ankles. <laughs> so then from here, we're gonna go ahead and reach the right arm forward. And then we're just gonna go into a protraction and retraction with that right side. So we inhale, allow that right shoulder to gently protract, and then go ahead and allow that right shoulder to retract. Uh, again, keeping the rib cage relatively stable, just mobilizing through that right shoulder. So feeling that neutral vertical pelvis, letting the spine stack up on top. One more time, we protract. We retract, now we're gonna go into a circle. We protract, lift, and just a nice arm circle back. Forward, reach, arm circle back, stabilizing through the ribs. We're doing one more like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the rib cage. We lift up, allow the rib cage to rotate with you and coming around. We reach, lift, Allow that rib cage to go with, and again, up, open, and around. We're gonna reverse it here. Just go ahead and add that rib cage back, up and down. Spiraling back, lift, and down, and back. Beautiful, coming around. We're doing this on that left side. That left arm is reaching forward. We protract forward and retract back, feeling that sense of stability here and coming back. Two more, protract left shoulder and retract the last time, protract and we retract. Now we protract, come forward, lift, nice left arm circle. Moving as big as it feels right for your body. So pay attention. Adding that rib cage. We're going to breathe with it. It's an inhale. And then exhale to circle around. 
Inhale, lift back. Circle around, moving that rib cage with it, starting to wake up the spine and the body a little bit more, reversing it. We go back, up, forward, and around. We come back, lift, forward, and around. One more time, back, up, forward, and around. Coming down, now we're bringing those hands just to a genie position in front of the body and we're going to walk our feet in a little bit more. Focusing on our balance, turning on the abdominals as we exhale, keeping that neutral spine and pelvis, we're just floating now that right foot up and then we place it back down. Little weight transfer, that left foot comes up. We lower back down. Uh, again, little weight transfer, right foot lifts, and then lowers down, little weight transfer, left foot lifts, lowers down, now that right leg from the knee joint, so not the hip, before we were lifting from the hip, now it's that knee joint, we're just extending straight out, and then pull back down. Left leg from the knee, we extend straight out. Pull back down. Right side, reach, trying to keep the spine nice and long, that pelvis nice and level. And lower down. Left side, reach. Lower down, arms open out to the side. Now we're going to go into spine rotation to the right. We bend that right elbow, we rotate. One two, three, we lengthen, come center. And a little different than when we do this on the mat, because we have that unstable surface that we're sitting on. So we're trying to stabilize as much as you can. There's gonna be a little natural movement through the pelvis. So the left, rotate a little further, a little further. Now we're gonna add a little more challenge as we rotate to the right, that left leg reaches. Two, one, and then down to the left, right leg, reaches, two, one, and come down again, right, left leg, reaches, and center, last time, whoop, reach, two, one, and coming center. Arms come down. We're going to end up rolling ourselves all the way forward now. So I'm going to bring my ball back just so I have enough space. So if you're sitting on it, you're going to bring yourself all the way forward to where your shoulders and head are now resting on the ball. Your heels again are in line with your sitting bones, toes and knees parallel. And your lifted hips are extended. Arms are straight up towards the ceiling here. Thinking of drawing up to the abdominals, you're still supporting the spine. And now from here, as we exhale, both arms. Reach back overhead, getting this nice sense of length and opposition from your knees to your fingertips. And then we pull both arms back up towards the ceiling. Again, it's an exhale to reach. We inhale to lift two more we reach back pull up one more time reaching back maybe feeling a little heat and connection through the glutes and then lifting both arms up now from here press both hands to the hip as you draw that rib cage towards the pelvis getting a little flexion through the spine not just the arms Lift three, press back down. Arms lift two, press back down. Arms lift one, press back down. Now lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Arms float up, and then arms continue reaching back. And again, it's an inhale to lift. Exhale, pressing down, think rib cage to pelvis. Now maintain just the arms, three, Press, lift, two, press, lift, one, press, 
lower head, neck, and shoulders, arms float up. They continue reaching back one more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale, press, hold, and flex. Just the arms up three. And lower, lift two. And lower, lift one. And lower. Now lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Arms stay straight up. Now from here, think pubic bone towards the ceiling. Belly button sinks to the lower back as we start to melt the spine down the ball, getting this nice stretch through that upper back. And then begin to tuck that tail under, rolling the spine back up like a hip roll, reaching the knees back forward. Uh, again, begin to curl, tucking under. Melting the spine, following the shape of the ball and then peeling right back up, adding the shoulders, rolling down as you melt the spine, the arms start to reach back. As you peel back up, we circle the arms around, coming back up, and again start to melt, reaching those arms back, Trying to move through the center of the spine. We circle the arms as we peel. Right back up and lift. Last time, start to melt. Arms reach up and back. And then we circle around, peeling back up. Now keeping those arms reaching forward. We're gonna nod the chin, now begin to walk back to where now your low back, okay, I'm gonna stop here, is supported. Arms are either reaching forward or hands come behind the head. And if you notice here, I'm in almost an imprinted position. So you can see my pubic bone is turned upwards, like my pubic bone is lifting up towards the ceiling and I have this shortened position between my rib cage and my pelvis. Now my rib cage is gonna stay stable. From here, we're gonna go back to just some pelvic and lumbar movements. So I'm gonna release my pelvis so I'm in like a neutral. So now you see my pubic bone is angling downwards. And I want you to almost think of like relaxing, like lengthen through the glutes. Feel this widening through the back of the pelvis. And then think of just gently drawing up through the obliques a gentle lift through the pelvic floor coming right back up. Nothing is changing through my rib cage and shoulders. I inhale, release down, and then exhale, little draw up. So this move is super small, but very connected. We inhale, drop, gaze is straight ahead. Exhale, little lift. Inhale, look again, the hands behind the head feels like too much work for the abdominals. You can reach them forward here. Lift. Again, think about what makes the movement through the pelvis feel right. What feels the most supported for your body. Down. Lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, again, feel this almost sinking, this wrapping and widening. Try not to let the abdominal wall press into your clothing. Two more. Two. Lift. Last one. Down. Lift, hold. Now holding it here, it's just that upper body from the rib cage. Now we release back. It's an exhale, the fold and flex. Now my pelvis is staying stable. I'm moving from my rib cage. Inhale, release. Lift. Back. Exhale. And even though you're folding and flexing, I want you to think of lengthening through the spine, lifting the crown of the head towards the ceiling not just coming up and forward. 
lengthen up. Two more. Two. Last one. We're going to go into an oblique twist now. We're releasing back as we come up. We rotate, flex right. Think left rib cage, right pelvis. Bend back. Rotate, flex left. Inhale back. Rotate, flex right. Back, keep that gaze lifted as you rotate and lift. This is four. Lift. This is three. Lift. This is two. Up. Last one. Back. And lift. Go ahead now, just release all the way back, let the chest open up. And then we're gonna nod the chin. You can gently grab behind the thighs if you need to. And we're gonna walk yourself all the way up. I'm gonna move myself back forward now to where we're back on a seated position on the ball. Arms are reaching forward. Now from here, we're thinking of that same almost pelvic movement that we had before, but now doing that sitting on top of the ball. So from here as we exhale, I'm gonna scoop, I'm gonna to start to roll my pelvis back. And as I roll my pelvis back, I'm thinking of my sitting bones coming forward, the ball is moving forward, and then I'm gonna return my pelvis back to neutral, the ball comes back, my spine is nice and tall. Again, I exhale. Scoop, drawing up. Now, if you notice, I'm not moving it at all through my knees and my ankles. The movement comes because my pelvis is rolling back, and then my pelvis returns back to neutral. Again, scoop. I use my obliques to draw up, getting that nice flexion through the lumbar, and then I return back up nice and tall. Again, scoop and roll. Getting that length and flexion through the spine, and then returning back up. Now from here, as I scoop roll, my right leg comes up to a tabletop. Find that balance, I like to spot something straight ahead, and then I return my pelvis to neutral, lower my foot down. Give that a try on that other side. We scoop, draw up. That's it, we lower, returning to that neutral. Uh, again, scoop, lift, lower, place the foot down, scooping, lift. Now you have the option to keep it here, and that is again perfectly fine. Or we can try adding the shoulders. We scoop, roll, lift, challenging that curve by lifting the arms as well and then everything comes back down pelvis moves to neutral other side we scoop you may notice that one side has different challenges than the other it's the beauty of working unilaterally one side you can really work on those imbalances that we all have again we scoop lift up connect that's it, lower and release. And again, scoop and lift and lower. Ooh, lost it on that last one. And release. Awesome, we're gonna come up now. We're gonna take it up to a standing position. Staying in front of the ball, you're gonna have your right, almost top of the foot and ankle on top of the ball, left foot in front. Then if you look down, you want to think of having your knees lined up with each other and you're in a nice neutral position here through the pelvis. We're going to start with a nice hip hinge or a sitting position. So we're coming down, flexing that left knee, folding at the hips like I'm sitting down on my heel. And then I press, connect through that left glute open through the hips coming back up to standing i'm folding 
getting back, feeling that length through the back of the hip, but my spine is staying supported. And then I press, coming right back up to neutral vertical. I bend, sit back. Nice long spine, press, stand. That's it. Sitting back, pressing up. We have four more here. Making sure that left knee stays right over the toes, right over the ankle, and lift. Sit back, lengthen as far as you can go. That's comfortable for your knees, your hips, your spine. Two more. Back. Press up one more time. Going down and pressing up. Beautiful other side. So switching legs, standing now on the right leg, bending at that left knee. Again, here I'm thinking of drawing up through my obliques. I'm rooting down through the center of my foot, center of my ankle on the right side, and then keeping that distance between the rib cage and my pelvis, I just fold, sitting back. That's it. And then I press, stand tall. Again, fold, feel that length through the back of the hip, press and stand. Sitting back. And pushing up. Sit. Good. And lift. This is four. And up. Three. And stand. Nice and tall, lifting through the crown of the head and keeping that sense of reach the entire time, pressing up. Last one, sit back, and press, lift, beautiful. Shaking it out, we're not gonna step behind the ball. Okay, I am now standing on my left foot, I have my right foot on top. Ooh, lost my balance there for a minute. I'm pressing down with my right foot. I am neutral here through my pelvis. Okay, so again, neutral pelvis, rib cage is stacked right on top, arms are reaching forward. And again, I'm strongly standing on that left leg, keeping my hip right over my ankle. Now from here, this is where that gets challenging. I'm keeping that pressure down on my right foot and then I'm just straightening that knee and pushing the ball out. Now what tends to want to happen here is that the pelvis or the rib cage may want to deviate back to make, to compensate for that leg reaching forward. So think of the abdominal staying connected through the front. You're keeping that hip flexion. You're straightening the knee using the quad and then pressing down, pulling it back and using the back of the leg. Nothing is changing through the torso. We press straight out, keeping that connection between rib cage and pelvis, and then pull in. We have two more like this. Then we're gonna challenge it, similar to how we did sitting. And again, press, and pull in. Now as we reach that right leg straight, that left arm comes down. We rotate back. And then we circle the arm up and pull back in. We press, left arm comes down. We rotate back. And then we lift, coming back around. Two more. Down, spiral back. We lift, circle around one more time. Down, rotate. 
lift and around. Nice. Shifting, doing that on the other side. So we're standing strongly on that right leg. We have that left foot on top. Keeping a little bit of pressure down. Taking time to really focus on that alignment. I know for me, this is something that I'm personally working on quite a bit. After being pregnant and now carrying my son, I tend to want to sit back quite a bit instead of using my abdominals through the front to help hold me tall, keeping my posture nice and lifted. Arms reaching forward, pressing down now with that left leg. Leg comes forward, feel the front of the body working to hold the torso upright, and then press down, pull back in. That's it. Press down, reach. That's it, and pull back in. Think of drawing up to pull that ball back. And again, straighten up, pelvis is staying nice and level. So you're connecting through that outer hip on that right side, drawing up through that inner thigh. Uh, again, reach. Press, pull, and adding that rotation. Left leg goes out, right arm swoops down. We rotate and then pull back in as we circle up and come center. Press down, rotate, lift, and center. Two more. Down, rotate, reach out, lift, pull back center. Last time. Down, rotate, lift, and come center. Nice, shaking out those hips. We're gonna come down. We're on our knees. We're just gonna go into a little kneeling cat to just kind of mobilize that spine, release the hips a little. After all that standing work, we're gonna nod the chin. We start to round that spine forward, pressing the ball out, trying to keep the hips extended as much as possible. And when we can't round anymore, we begin to release the tail, the lower, the middle, the upper, continuing to push the ball out, releasing through the pelvic floor, giving that nice stretch. And then begin to tuck that tail back under, peeling up, returning all the way back up to that neutral vertical. And again, beginning to nod that chin rounding the spine forward and then unraveling that lower back that middle back that upper back don't think of sinking down but really think of reaching out yes feeling that nice long stretch and then tucking that tail peeling all the way back up and extending the hips Continue extending through the spine. Let's do that one more time. Nodding the chin, rounding down. And ravel through the spine, lengthening out. Now I want you to come down, just again, feel the pelvis kind of relax. Let your forehead relax on the ball. And then kind of bring those hands together if you can. And then we're just going to bend at the elbows, bringing the thumbs back behind the head, getting that nice stretch through the lats, and then straightening the elbows out. And again, bend, lengthen, and stretch through the lats, reaching out. Two more. Bend. Lengthen out. Last time. Bend. Good. And reach. And then again, slowly, let's just roll that spine. Oop. All the way up. Now we're going to come into a side position. So we did a nice work through the glutes. 
stabilizing through the pelvis. Now we're going to work a little through the outer hip. Kind of bring the ball up against your side and then just let yourself just kind of lean into it. So if you notice I'm on this slight angle of my bottom knee, I take my left arm, I just wrap it around the ball, my right leg is reaching nice and long. Now my right hand can come in front again here for a little more support. If I want to challenge, I can bring it also behind the head. I'm going to keep the ball in front for now. You're lengthening out and now from here we're going to have that right leg. We just float it up hip height, again stabilizing through the pelvis, and then just tapping that toe back down. We lengthen and lift, and tap. That's it, lengthen up, and lower down. Lengthen up, and lower down. This is six. Keep reaching out. is two. We're just going to hold now. Flex that heel. Lengthen. Just imagine that you're pressing up against the wall for six. Press five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lower it down. Bring that bottom arm down and just move into a beautiful side stretch. Taking a moment here to breathe into the side. After being so connected through that side body, let it completely relax. And exhaling out. One more time. Breathing in. And exhaling out. Good, we're gonna come up. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. Gotta kind of bring it up against the hip. Let yourself just lean into it. Have that right hand around the side, left hand front or behind the head, your whatever way it works for you. Then pointing through that left toe, drawing up, and then we lift and lower down again. What I mean by that side connection is when we lift the leg, we don't want to feel all of our body weight sink into the ball. We're staying lifted and supported. The ball is there but we're acting like we're almost keeping ourselves lifted away from it. And then just pressing up, really feeling that whole outer side of the body turning on. We lift, feeling that side support. Five, down four more. Four. Three, two more. Two, you got it, we lift and hold. Flex at that ankle, continue pressing up for five. Press four, three, two, and one. Lower down, bottom arm comes down. Get that nice length and stretch over. Breathing into that side body. Exhaling out. One more time, breathing in and exhaling out, coming down. Now we're going to take the ball, we're going to be on our back. We're going to have our legs straight, but we're going to have them just kind of on the outside of the ball here. Hands are down by our side. We're going to be working all through the hips. So we got the outer thighs. Now we're going to target a little more adductors. So as we're lying down in this nice neutral position, we take a breath in. On that exhale, we're gently squeezing into the ball. But again, feel that squeeze from the top of the inner thighs. And then we press down and lift. Finding this nice long low hover by using the adductor, squeezing into the ball and then we release, fold and lower. Again, breath in, exhale, we gently squeeze, feel that gentle wrap from your ears all the way to your toes. We have this nice long line. 
release, fold and lower. Again, squeeze, press, lift. Release, fold down. Two more. Squeeze, press up. Release, fold down. One more time. Squeeze, press, lift. Maintain. And release, fold down. Bend the knees coming in. Both feet on top of the ball. We're squeezed together. We're going to do a little supported hip release. So we're going to turn now out. Reach straight. Turn in, fold in. That's it. Out. Just getting this nice mobility. Turn in, return. Feeling the pelvis. So stay nice and stable as we mobilize through the hips. Out. Turn in, reverse. Just reaching out, feeling this nice length through the spine still. Drag in, pull in. Reach, turn out. And pull in. Reach, turn out, and pull in. One more time, reach, turn out, and pull in. Rolling the ball in. So we're gonna just go into a supported external rotation. Just feeling this relax through the pelvic floor, this release. Opening through the hips, again, I'm allowing for like this little bounce, this little rock. You can do what feels, again, right for your body. We're just going to hold here and just take a nice, again, full breath in. And exhale out. One more time, another full breath in. Completely exhaling out. Awesome, awesome job, everyone. As always, thank you so much for joining me here on this channel for another Pilates workout. Um, I hope that you join me here again soon. Um, I hope it goes without saying. If you guys ever have any suggestions for workouts that you would like to see, some previous stuff that I did in the past that you would like me to revisit again, or ever have any questions on workouts, please um, write a comment, leave a message, shoot me an email, um, or, or just get a hold of me in, in some way, and I'm happy to, to hear what you guys are enjoying or take any suggestions that you guys have um, for the future. So thankfully you are here with me, and I hope to see you on the mat again soon.